generative AI or Gen AI products have made clear what their superpower is, speed and cost. These are products that have been trained on datasets containing anywhere from thousands to billions of points of data, including text, audio, video, and images. ChatGPT, DALI, Midjourney, and Stable Diffusion are just a few, with many more popping up daily. They're used to quickly generate new content. I think of Gen AI like the Flash from DC Comics. Ridiculously fast, but the ends, for the most part, are no different from what we can do. For example, if the Flash wants Naples-style pizza from Naples, he can get it in a second. For us, it would take longer and be more expensive, but the end result would be the same. With some caveats, it's the same with Gen AI. I've used ChatGPT and Midjourney for hundreds of questions and thousands of images. So far, the quality of the results aren't dissimilar from what a person could eventually come up with, but the speed and cost are unlike anything that a person could do. I started using Midjourney in September to generate images based on lyrics from songs that I would then stitch together to create a lyric music video. If I wanted to commission the art for these videos from individual artists, it could cost hundreds or thousands of dollars. As important, it could take days, weeks, or months to have all the images ready. That's just not the case with Midjourney. For 30 bucks a month, I could ask it to create an unlimited amount of images in almost any conceivable style. It would take a few seconds to generate each picture, and I would save a lot of time and money. It's cheaper and quicker than any artist, though the end result isn't as good, though this is a matter of taste. Still, Midjourney is improving daily. It could be useful for artists as well. They could feed their clients' commissions into Midjourney and have it provide something they can work off of. They can come up with something quickly and then make further edits in Photoshop. Artists can now produce content even quicker and no longer need to start with a blank canvas unless they want to. As much as I like most of what Midjourney outputted, I can't say I was completely happy with all the results. They were all somewhere along the way to what I wanted, but they took enough detours that the end result wasn't precisely what I desired. For the time and cost that went into the quality I got, I'm satisfied. But right now, it's a case of something is better than nothing. It's enough to pique my interests to continue using it. I think it's a great tool to use as a starting point. If you have an idea of what you want, you can use Midjourney to come up with a quick and cheap prototype. You can then take the prototype to a designer or artist to get something pixel perfect or more in line with exactly what you want. I was listening to episode 504 of the Accidental Tech Podcast a few months ago. One of the hosts, Marco Arment, was slash is developing an app about the tide levels in this area. The app needs an icon. Marco used Dolly, OpenAI's image generator, to come up with some ideas. This is the bad one, and this is the good one. As he mentioned in the episode at around the 16 minute and 40 second mark, it gave him a jumping off point, something to take to a professional designer who could then create a better final product. But it does help clarify communication. He can say, I want something like this, but pixel perfect, or something like this, but better than this. Then he can give direct feedback that the artist can incorporate, something Midjourney is incapable of. He can say, I like this and this, but I want that to connect to that over there. When it comes to visual mediums, showing is better than telling, but you still need to be able to explain what you want. Right now, you can do that with a human, but not with a machine. The machines need to get better. These products will continue to improve, but the genie is out of the bottle. There's no going back to how things were before. There's no going back. You've changed things. Forever. Gen AI will be what we make of it. It's in our best interests to try and understand this new landscape and use it to our advantage instead of shying away from it. This is, in part, what the future will look like. But I'd also like to get your thoughts. What do you think of this new technology? What do you think it means for our future? If you've used it, let me know, and let me know how it matched up with your expectations. Until next time.